Okay. Welcome to a cheeky Italian's perfect meatballs. Not really, anyway. So what I'm going to show you today is the perfect meatball. So we've got a bit of beef chuck here and a mix of pork shoulder and pork belly. So we've got a nice mix so of fat there. You've got the there. fat, you've got the meat, the flavour. The flavour, unbelievable. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a, just a few simple ingredients. We're going to start with, an, yeah. with the onion. The most important bit about this onion is, because we're not cooking it down, yeah. is to get it really fine, really fine diced. So I put a bit of garlic in there. To the garlic, I'm going to add a little bit of the beautiful fennel seeds. That's really, they're really nice. They're probably strong, aren't they? Yeah, they're really good. Nice. A few chilli flakes, so no pepper. We're going to use a few chilli flakes, not too many. We don't want to blow their heads off. Now the cinnamon, just a little pinch because we don't want to go too heavy. Yeah. Little pinch, and then a bit of salt. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to be quite generous. I don't want to completely ground them. I just want to sort of infuse them. So we're mashing up the garlic. You can smell that. Oh, look at these forearms. Ah, Mamma mia, it's amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add the. Uh, the ingredients in. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of the old parsley. Of course, the onion <laughs> that we've diced so very finely. And now to this, I'm going to add just a few breadcrumbs that I've just, it just makes it a bit lighter. Yeah. And what we do, you don't want a lot, just maybe like a handful yeah. and a pinch. Now, there's probably about just under a kilo, about 900 grams of meat here. Everyone uses one egg, I use two. Because what we do, Two eggs, we're going to get this really sticky mix, and people get really sort of scared about it. Two eggs, you get an extra moisture, and I tell you what, com combined with the meat with the breadcrumbs, it gives you such a light meatball. So yeah, for this purpose, we're going to make them small. We're going to cook them off. Yeah. A nice sauce. We're not mucking about. We're Let's getting see. involved. We're going to fry these off now. So really, the, the key to this is a really hot pan. So we've got a nice hot pan. Don't be scared of olive oil. Don't be scared of olive oil. So we're gonna go quite heavy on this. Right, we're smoking up now. So this is really gonna start. Basically, we want to caramelise the meat so we bring out the natural sugars in the meat. Yep. So we'll we'll go with that. So stand back a bit. We're gonna get a few flames. So we're just gonna toss them up. And yes, they're starting to go really dark. Don't be scared, we haven't burnt them. Because what's going to happen is, as soon as we add the sauce, it's going to soften that down. And all that black and brown is going to turn into a nice, sweet sauce. OK, so I'm quite happy with that. It's all brown, caramelised, so straight in. Ah, uh, look at this. You're Paul Rosemary, bud. It's all bubbling away. So this is what we call Quick cooking. So. Ah, that sounds perfect. It's all right, it's all right. A nice bit of basilico. This is real. Exactly. We're going to so, eat this, aren't we? We are going to eat Good. this. So we're going to let this cook down. We'll just add a little bit of salt. Yep. Just to the sauce. Yep. So what do you think the next thing for Italian food in the UK is? Where do you see, what are the changes which happen? Do you think it's more about this informal approach to fun, kind of relaxed, Dining, not the whole mm. cuisine, the fine dining side of things. I think it's taken it back to the home and, you know, I think it's lost it a little bit in the sense that we're all getting too consumed with work and we're not going to have enough time to sit down around the table, enjoy each other's company, a few meatballs, a few laughs. I'm just going to dress the uh, rocket just a little bit with a magic my hands. Right, so. And then we've got a little bit of the old Parmigiano Reggiano. Balsamic vinegar, just a few drops, just yeah, to really cut through that meatiness of the meatballs. Yes. So we're going to have to eat. We're not standing talking about this. After you, sir. After me. Thank you very much. They're warm now, but it's fantastic. Mm.